now let us discuss about some of array elements algorithm using recursive approach and non recursive approach that is nothing but iterative approach as well as analyze the performance of the algorithm each algorithm by computing time complexity and space complexity so here we have iterative algorithm recursive algorithm we need to compute the time complexity as well as space complexity so first let us focus on iterative algorithm so algorithm let name of the algorithm is i sum so iterative sum of array elements let we have two parameters a comma n so a means name of the array n means number of elements here there is no need of any data types while declaring the variables why because this is not the program this is algorithm okay uh, next let us have a variable called sum the initial value of the sum is 0 next to four uh, we have to start from 0 and continue up to n do so calculate the sum so s equal to s plus a of i and after that return s value or return return that uh, return s value or uh, write s value that means print s value so both are correct only so first let us calculate the time complexity using frequency step count approach so s is equal to 0 so this statement step count is 1 next about this for loop here the body will be executed for n times whereas that false condition that condition will be checked for one time so the step count is n plus 1 whereas this body will be executed for n times next this return statement will be executed for one time so if we add all these values then 2n plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 means 3 2n plus 3 so here what is the higher order exponent 3 means 3 into n power 0 so 1 is uh, whereas 2n means 2n power 1 so 1 is higher order exponent so this is the time complexity while calculating the time complexity we have to ignore the constant multiplier so ignore these two also so the time complexity of the iterative recursive algorithm is order of n why because we got here n n here linear computing time now let, let us focus on the space complexity let us see the formula so here the space complexity formula is constant part plus variable part so constant part let us see about constant part so constant part means it doesn't depends upon any other variables so if you see this algorithm s is not depending on any other variable next i is not depending on any other variable n is not depending on any other variable whereas this array comes under variable part why because the array depends upon the size that is n so in order to store these three variables we require three memory words or three time units so both are correct only three time units whereas let us focus on the variable part so here what is variable part variable part means that array variable part means it depends upon some other variable some other variable okay yeah so here what is the a, a here a a is depending on some other variable so what is a size n so in order to store that a how many time units are required n time units are required suppose if n value is 5 then in order to store a 5 time units are required if n value is 3 then 3 time units are required so we can say that the space complexity here is c plus sp what is c 3 plus what is variable part this n so 3 plus n is nothing but order of here we have n so n is me n means variable part so the space complexity of uh, uh, iterative approach is order of n now let us focus on the recursive algorithm so algorithm r sum of a comma n we have two parameters array and size of the array next recursive means we have to use uh, if else statements if n less than or equal to 0 then what is the sum of the array elements then return 0 return 0 else return 
what is the function call r sum of a comma here we have n so call n minus 1 plus we have to add that value a of n or a of n minus 1 so let us write a of n minus 1 uh, so here the logic is very very simple if we have uh, 5 elements in the array then the indexes are from 0 to 4 so we have to add a of 4 with so first initially what will happen r sum of a comma 5 will be called next r sum of a comma n minus 1 means 5 minus 1 so 4 plus a of 4 it will be added next r sum of a of 3 plus a of 3 and a of 4 will be added next r sum of a of 2 plus a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 likewise it will be continued uh, so this is the algorithm now let us focus on the space complexity and the time complexity here the space complexity of this algorithm is order of n why because here what is the depth of the recursion so here mainly we will focus on depth here so here the depth of the recursion is if we are calling a of phi if n value is phi then phi times we are calling that function again and again so we can say that depth of the recursion is n so that's why uh, the space complexity of this algorithm is order of n okay now let us analyze the time complexity so first let us write the recurrence relation and then uh, we will solve that recurrence relation so t of n so the time complexity for n elements so here what is the result 0 0 if n is equal to 0 or n less than or equal to 0 if n less than or equal to 0 the result is 0 that means uh, t of 0 means 0 value whereas otherwise otherwise we have to call uh, a, a comma n minus 1 so here for computing n the time complexity is t of n whereas we are calling here r sum of a comma n minus 1 so for this recursive call the time complexity is t of n minus 1 why because here we are calling n minus 1 times so t of n minus 1 plus here one, com one comparison is needed here one addition is needed so 1 plus 1 means 2 so some constant number so that is nothing but c so if n greater than 0 so if n greater than 0 then this is the recurrence relation that we will get now let us uh, solve that recurrence relation for getting the time complexity of this algorithm so what is the recurrence relation t of n equal to t of n minus 1 plus c so if we derive t of n minus 1 then what will happen t of in place of n if we substitute n minus 1 then n minus 1 minus 1 that is nothing but n minus 2 t of n minus 2 plus uh, yeah here for t of n minus 1 we will get 1c here additionally we have one more c so we will get 2c so if you want let us derive uh, first t of n minus 1 so t of n minus 1 equal to in place of n we need to substitute n minus 1 so t of n minus 1 minus 1 plus there is no change in c so t of n minus 1 minus 1 means t of n minus 2 plus c that is the formula for t of n minus 1 likewise let us derive for t of n minus 2 in place of this n substitute n minus 2 then we will get t of in place of n if you substitute n minus 2 then n minus 2 minus 1 plus there is no change in this c now let us substitute these formulas in t of n so what is t of n t of n equal to t of n minus 1 plus c that is equal to what is t of n minus 1 t of n minus 2 plus c so t of n minus 2 plus here we have c so if we add this c and this c then we will get 2c that is equal to t of what is t of n minus 2 t of n minus 3 plus c so t of n minus 3 plus here we have c if we substitute here then we will get this c plus 2c that means 3c so on what is the kth term what is the kth term t of n equal to t of if you see here first formula t of n minus 1 into 1 into c t of n minus 1 plus 1 into c if you see here t of n minus 2 plus 2 into c t of n minus 3 plus 3 into c so here you will get t 
P of n minus k plus k into c plus k into c now let us derive this one so here uh, this t of 0 is given what is t of 0 if n less than or equal to 0 here we have 0 so t of 0 means 0 so we have to assume this n minus k as the 0 now why because t of 0 is given in the problem assume n minus k equal to 0 assume n minus k equal to 0 then what is k what is n n is k k is n okay so here we have t of n minus 1 what is t of n minus i am sorry here we have t of n what is t of n t of n equal to t of n minus k plus k into c so what is t of n minus k t of 0 so t of 0 plus what is k k is nothing but n only so n into c what is t of 0 t of 0 is nothing but 0 only 0 plus n into c n into c so here what is the time complexity n so 0 means 0 into n power 0 n means n power 1 into c so this is uh, this one is the higher order one uh, and we have to ignore this constant multiplier so what is the time complexity of the recursive algorithm order of n so the time complexity and space complexity of iterative and recursive algorithm is order of n in all the cases that's it